Hey guys, Bart from TSC Industries here. In this video, we're going to show you the installation of this new standard fender eliminator on 2015 and up Yamaha R1, R1M, and R1S. In 2015, we released the feature-packed Elite One fender eliminator for these bikes. And at this point, we are introducing the more economical version of the system that still retains the nice CNC machined undertail closeout, but replaces the adjustable license plate bracket of the Elite One with a standard fixed angle bracket. While the Elite One system is meant for the connoisseur that will accept nothing short of the best, the standard version targets a more budget-oriented customer. Eliminating the fender does away with the license plate light and OEM signals, so you will need to address those issues. When purchasing this fender eliminator through the TST Industries website, you will be presented with the options to add our low-profile stealth license plate light and OEM signal relocation bracket. You can bundle these products together and save some dough. As you can see here, this bike is still outfitted with the OEM fender. For the purpose of this video, we will take that off and start step one from the point where this is already taken off. If you're interested in the procedure for taking off your fender and signals, look at the end of the video, we're gonna have an appendix chunk that will instruct you on how to do that. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, a couple notes before we start installing the system onto the bike. We have our closeout that fits over the OEM geometry left behind by the fender. And to that, we will affix the license plate bracket like so. And the hardware used will be the long Allen screw, one of the small washers, through one of these slots. And then we are gonna use One of the nuts on top and the note I want to make here is that this washer that I took off uh, during the OEM component disassembly will have to go back in get superimposed over everything and then the nuts will tighten down onto that so I'm going to perform the bottom portion of this and then go up top and drop my washer on there. This is done the easiest with a nice needle nose plier. Now I can thread my nut on top of that screw that's protruding through there. Actually, that's kind of cumbersome as well. So let's do this. Let's put a four millimeter Allen into the screw and use our, use our needle nose pliers to hold the nut like that. And that will make this vastly easier. All right, so I got that one threaded up. I'm gonna get the other hardware set, which consists of a washer, a nut, and a screw. Same for both sides washer onto the screw through the bracket and we will do the same thing up top here So now that I have it threaded up, I will switch tools and we're gonna to proceed to the next step. All right, so let's now align our bracket here and start tightening it down with our four millimeter Allen and 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna snug it up just a little bit and make sure that I still leave some adjustability so that I can move this bracket around and adjust it to my liking. So you have some adjustability left to right. So I want to snug it up and then we'll proceed from there. I got a little bit too tight. All right, looks like I have it aligned. All right, tighten it down. And now we're ready to proceed 
to the installation of the license plate. If you are doing a license plate light with this kit, the wiring would go through this notch and then through the notch in the undertail closeout in the forward portion of the closeout. And that'll enable you to get your wires into the uh, trunk compartment and plug them in. Also, if you're doing our uh, OEM signal relocation bracket, same thing would happen. You would just put the bracket in between the closeout and the license plate bracket and the wires would again fit in the notch and into the trunk compartment. For this video, we're only going to install the necessary components here for the remounting of the license plate. If you want to see the other components installed, please check out our other videos. Get these snug and then do a final adjustment left to right and also push it up as high as it'll go. And now tighten it down. And basically from here you just go through the reinstallation of all the components you've taken off in the reverse order of disassembly. You can also consult the appendix chunk that we have in the end of this video for hints on how to do that. As far as this installation goes, we are pretty much done. All right. So this installation is complete. This bike is ready to go. Hope you guys enjoy the video, like the parts. Please subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment, questions, concerns, place them below in the comment feed. Other than that, I hope to catch you next time. First, we'll remove the passenger seat, and then we will proceed to removing the driver's seat. And that is done by undoing these two screws in the rear portion under the foam pad. In the following step, we will be removing this panel here. This panel is held on by four rivet type fasteners. We'll back out the Phillips screws from those fasteners, and then we'll release the fasteners so we can just pull them out. Now this panel is free to come out. We just have to clear it from these two pieces of geometry, and the other panels that hold it captive. Pry up on this side and then pry up on this side. And now this piece comes out. All right, so now we will remove these two fasteners. And then we'll have access to these cables here. In addition, we'll need to pull this towards the front of the bike to clear the friction fastener that holds it onto the tail light. All right. Now, if you can tell here, the signal wires are attached to these tabbed brackets that are on the back of this bracket. So what we'll do is reset these ratcheting portions like so and pop them out towards the front. All right. 
Now what I'll do is I will take these wires here and undo their routing clip. And that is done by pressing this towards the frame. I can demonstrate that again. We'll just press this. That allows all these wires to come out. We have one of the signal wires here. We'll need to unplug it. The other side signal wire. And this is your license plate light wire. We'll also remove that for now. We will route these wires back towards the trunk compartment and go on to the next step. All right, in this step, we will unscrew the fender assembly from the subframe. We'll need to back out these three screws. One, two, three. Now for the last screw, I will be holding the fender from the bottom so that it doesn't just drop. And now I'll pull down all the wires. I will go one at a time, making sure that none of the connectors get ripped off. So I can do the smallest one with a license plate light first. I'll make it a lot easier. Now that the fender assembly is removed, we can put it to the side. 